We are our guest today is Jacob the Carpetbagger from YouTube. One of my favorite YouTubers out there. You guys should really check out his channel. Goes to a lot of different locations. Uh, one of his most recent locations he went to, it's a good one. For those of you who've seen The Great Outdoors, the film uh, where John Candy does that steak challenge, well, the carpetbagger also did the steak challenge out there at the Big Texan in Amarillo, Texas, where he ate the 72-ounce steak. Now, if you want to see whether or not he actually pulled it off, you have to go to his YouTube six, channel and check that, that out. That's now, what, listen to this, five, Dave. Six pounds, something like that, isn't that? It's I watched. It's large. Wow. And now, listen. Now, listen to this, Dave. Now, now, Jacob, Jacob, you ate, or I shouldn't uh, tell them, but they, they, the attempt was you had to eat. Now, I'm going to list this off: the steak, 72 ounces, baked potato, roll with a salad, and this is the best part. And a breaded, deep-fried jumbo shrimp. See, I think the the jumbo shrimp there at the end is just to torture you, you know, <laughs> right? Is that what that's about, Jacob? Because you get to the end, it's like, oh, the shrimp's gonna do me in. Is that why they do that? <laughs> yeah, you you've never felt such. I mean, it took one bite of the shrimp. You never felt a uh, piece of shrimp be that heavy in your life. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, guys, check that out. Jacob the Carpet Bagger. Check out the uh, steak challenger at the Big Texan. Dave, who do we got on the line? Well, we have a whole bunch of phone calls, dude. So, so uh, Jacob, you ready to get yeah. to some phone calls? We have we have them lined up from yeah, sure. from Kentucky, Texas, Colorado, California, uh, Oklahoma. They're from all over the place. You ready to get to these? All over. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let's uh, let's see who's up first. I'm going to hit next, and it is the Mustard Man calling from Mustard Colorado. Mustard Man, what's going on? Hey, how you guys doing today? We're doing great here in California. How you doing, Mustard Man? You got a uh, oh, question, sure. comment for the carpet bagger? Yeah, yeah. I've just been putting out knuckle sandwiches all day. I'm doing work, you know. Knuckle sandwiches, uh, yeah. huh? Well, that's one of the carpet baggers' favorite yeah. thing to do to trolls. He gives them knuckle sandwiches, big ones. Isn't that right, that's Jacob? What I hear. That's what I hear. Yeah. So, Jacob, how you doing today, sir? You know, what, what are your I'm biggest doing, fans? I'm doing good. Okay. What's so, up? Uh, I hear you. I hear you. David. I hear you have a wrestling match coming David. up uh, soon. What? Caller. Yes, Jacob. You're Please making you me very nervous. Right You're making me nervous. I fear you may be a troll. <sighs> no, no, I was asking about the wrestling match that's coming up. Oh, yes, the wrestling. Jacob, what about the wrestling? Uh, yes, I will be involved in a wrestling event on June 30th in uh, Cornelia, Georgia, at the Landmark Arena with my arch nemesis, well, David Garrison. Now, is that another YouTuber, well, well, uh, Jacob? Uh, he is he, he is he is a legitimate uh, wrestling manager. Is that right? Uh, these are legit legitimate wrestlers. I I am not a trained wrestler, but I have you know I've become involved in, in this in this community for some reason. All right, caller. Anything else? Uh, yeah, uh, in the spirit of Andy Kaufman, this is the Swedes. I'm not a troll. But I would like to challenge the Jacob Swedes. Man, I right? think you may not be a troll, but you've played a little trick on us there, haven't you? I've heard your name bandied about on the internet there, the Swedes. Oh, oh, yeah, all sorts of things about me. Anyway, Jacob, would you uh, be willing to wrestle me that evening? You're being called out here on Flight 1080 KCO, and Dave Michaels is going to be there right next to you, Jacob. Up I mustard? will fly Dave Michaels out to wrestle with you, Jacob the Carpet Bagger. <laughs> I'm not to sell a lot of blood to afford the plane tickets, but I'll make it happen. I would have, uh, I would have serious doubts that the Swedes, uh, his vehicle, would be able to make it. All the <laughs> <laughs> now the Swedes getting called out. Disrespect again, always, but I'm the troll. Anyway, so are you uh, not going to go through with the challenge then, Jacob? Uh, I, I, you know, you would you would have to speak with Mr. Mr. Garrison about his event. All right, so Thank we you have a call, it. Mustard Man. Calling Thank from you, Colorado. Swedes. Thank you for calling, and we do appreciate the phone 831 call. 439 1080, 831 218 KSCO. You're listening to Flight 1080. Let's see who's up next. It is Matthew calling from Louisville, Kentucky. What's going on, Matthew? Not much. How you doing, Jacob? I've been watching you doing good. How are you? for about a year. I'm doing good. I've been watching YouTube videos for about a year now. I was just calling in to see what your favorite location you visited was. What my favorite location? <clears throat> uh, like I said, when it, when it talks to like individual locations, House on the Rock is probably my favorite. Um, I really, at least in different parts of the country, I love Florida. I love like 
all the different roadside attractions in Florida just kind of all congealed in the same area. All right. Have you been to Midgetville in uh, New Jersey yet? Midgetville? Midgetville? I want to go now. That's Send me tickets. I need to look up. <laughs> tickets it's, here to uh, Flight cool. 1080 at KSCO. All uh, right. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks for calling. And we got Nux up in Four, the seven, air nine, one, zero, on eight, zero. Let's see. We got... We have uh, Raymond calling from Yukon, Raymond, what's Oklahoma. going on? You're in the air. Hey, guys. Hey, I just started watching your YouTube channel, Carverback. I really enjoy your stuff. And I was wondering, I love your interactive map you. you have on your channel. Um, I was I wondering why it. Oklahoma was so bare. I, I guess I do need to do some, do some stuff in Oklahoma. What have I done? I've done the, the basically Route 66 through Oklahoma is what I've done. So yeah, I'm always, yeah, that, I'm always open for suggestions. Now yeah. Oklahoma. Now is that now? Where's that hodag from? Sorry. The uh, hodag, Jacob. I wanted to talk about the hodag, and what uh, what state Wisconsin. is that supposed to be from? The hodag. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Man, I was hoping it was going to be the same state that my ex girlfriend was from, but no <laughs> such luck. Because I used to call her the hodag. <laughs> <laughs> four seven nine one zero eight zero. Thank Dave, you for your call, here. Raymond. Let's head out to an uh, Indiana. Jacob, Indiana. you're in the air. You're in the air. Oh, caller. Hi, Jacob. Uh, I'm a really big fan, um, and I found your channel about when I started my own YouTube channel. And uh, I love traveling. I do similar videos to yours, but after like a year and a half, I haven't been doing too well. I have less than fifty uh subscribers so i'm just wondering if you have any tips uh for someone trying to start up their own youtube channel that's a uh, great question comment caller jacob yeah i um <laughs> it's hard for me you know i and i'm all for trying to trying to give whatever wisdom i can spread um but for me you know for me it was it's kind of turned out to be a happy accident it was you know doing something i love um just kind of morphed and got bigger and bigger until it kind of took over my life but um I think the most important thing is, is just consistency. Just keep keep putting stuff out there. Don't get discouraged, and um, you know, and eventually, it'll, you know, it can catch on. You'll you'll find something out there that people will uh, latch on to. It seems to me, Jacob, uh, as with my YouTube thing, I've only put a few videos out there. It seems very difficult unless you're uploading on a really daily basis. And that is, you know, if you're going to uh, have any sort of success on, on YouTube, I really feel that you better be enjoying whatever ever it is that you're uh, putting out there content-wise because at the end of the day, honestly, it takes a lot of time to go to, the, like, the locations or even if you don't go to locations, you still have to film the videos, you have to edit them, you have to upload them. And, you know, I don't know about you, Jacob, but I personally hate editing videos. It drives me insane. I hate editing, <laughs> I hate editing videos, too. And... Um, and that's you know that's 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 very true. If, if if this is not something you love, don't don't really bother because um, like for instance, when I'm on the road, when I'm doing my road trips, I want to uh, I want to be able to see as much stuff as possible. So I'm usually getting up around eight or nine, immediately in the car uh, from place to place, filming probably film till about uh, seven seven at night, then get back to a hotel room or find a hotel room, then edit until maybe midnight or so and then go to bed and start over so That's a lot of work yeah, i have to love it i have to love it otherwise that would <laughs> it would be the worst job ever right absolutely absolutely dave who else we got on the air uh 831-479-1080 if you want to get on the air we've got plenty of room let's see who is next up scholar next. i Dave's wyatt calling from texas you're in the air hey wyatt Wyatt, are you there hi Hello? That's you. Hello? Hi. My name is Wyatt. Um, Jacob, I was wondering if you could uh, say hi to my dog. <laughs> we have a What's request, Jacob. Name? What's your dog's name? Chub Chub. Well, I'd like to give a big shout out to Chub Chub the dog and Wyatt. Right. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for the call, Wyatt. Four seven nine ten eighty. Let's see who is up next. It is Kathy. You're in the air. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Hi, Jacob. Hey, Kathy. Can you hear me? How are you? I can hear you. Okay, I'm doing good. good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so glad I get to speak with you. I'm really, really a big fan of yours. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I was just wondering, you know, your videos actually, I started watching you and your videos got me through a really hard time in my life. 
And so I've just continued to watch your videos and just become a fan. But one of my favorite videos is your Fun Town Mountain video. And I was oh, yeah? just wondering, what is going on with that? What um, Did somebody buy it? Are they going to put it back up? Uh, yes, actually, um, the uh, they they put it up for auction. It was purchased uh, by a man who I think owns a local radio station there, and um, they opened they did they opened up the haunted house and the gift shop last year, um, and they said that they're going to try to open it back up as Guntown Mountain uh, this year. All right, excellent. Yeah, Jacob, you know, you have, do have a lot of uh, great followers out there. Your fan base is fantastic, very nice people. You know, uh, trolls uh, not allowed and all that stuff. <laughs> but, you know, also it's, it's interesting with YouTube, you know, and I've thought about this recently, and it is true, and, and maybe you've gotten notes or, or things from people, maybe in the mail, even correspondence, but there's a lot of people in the United States or, you know, out of the country even too that are shut-ins or possibly disabled and they, they don't get out mm -hmm. much, and they like to check out stuff on YouTube and uh, do you have any followers like that fans like that because it seems like a lot of youtubers do and it's kind of a cool thing actually yeah I actually I actually get those get those comments a lot um, people unable to travel because of their age their health or just their financial situation so um, you know a lot of people just thank me for being able to take them to places that they yeah, would your content not. is great it exposes people to it that they wouldn't otherwise be able to check out four seven nine one zero eight zero area code eight three one flight if you want to get on board harry the hammer is in the air what's going on harry bagger. hey harry much, man. hey jacob how you doing brother i'm doing good how are you harry i'm good man what do you got for the wanna, backer, harry I, yeah, I just wanted to say, man, I'm a huge fan. I'm actually watching you live right now. Oh, yeah? Hey. On, on my phone. <laughs> so, yeah. Harry the Hammer, what kind of things do you hammer out there? Just a lot of bull. That's it. <laughs> a lot of bull. All right. We're getting more callers calling in. We're getting a lot of phone activity here at KSEO on Flight 1080. Carpetbag, you're, you are a very popular fellow. Not only are wow. your videos popular, but people <laughs> love calling in. Jacob, uh, what was the, uh, was it recently that you were out at, um, I believe, it was it, uh, the, what was your last video that you uploaded? Last video. Hmm. Um, I think, let me check right here. <laughs> but upload, cause see, I, I film a lot while I'm out, and then I kind of upload them slowly once I get back home. But, um, yeah, Harry the Hammer, thanks for the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, check that out, Jacob. Uh, you know, it was. I was looking earlier, you went live uh, on your YouTube before you are going to come on the air today, and I saw some comments in there, and actually Harry the Hammer was uh, one of them. He said he may call in, and Harry, thanks for calling in. Somebody else out there uh, by the name of uh, Adventures by George, not sure who he is, but he made a comment uh, saying that uh, Monterey, California, which is not where we're located, we're located in Santa Cruz, but he had a comment about Star Trek IV uh, being filmed out here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, some of the scenes, oh, yeah. and that's actually one of my favorite Star Trek films out of all of them, Star Trek IV. Really? Oh, I thought it was the best one, uh, definitely. Uh, Leonard Nimoy uh, wrote and directed that one for the most part. Is that the I one that he died? Him. No, they no. Throw into the sun? It's the one day where they go to San Francisco and the whales. Oh, okay. That one there, it's a pretty good one. And so, uh, yeah, that's out here. And Jacob, so you're going to have to come out here to Santa Cruz sometime to get uh, get that off your list there, the last but not least of the uh, of the um, uh, wax uh, figures there. Ripley's, believe it or not, up in San Francisco. I've been to it yeah, once, yeah, and it's very tiny. It's not like these other ones you've been to. It's very tiny. It's not like the big ones you've been to. Dave, don't say it's a ripoff. I'm trying to get him to come out here. Oh, it's fantastic. You should Dave check it out. Dave is ruining everything. Eight three one four seven nine ten eight. You going to get some more we phone got calls? Another caller. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's nice head color. out to Florida. Ryan, you're in the air. What's up, Ryan? J Jacob, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Ryan? <laughs> I'm doing well. So, so thank you, man. I'm actually a regular on your live stream, uh, Ryan Nodal. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen you many times. Yes, you have. Uh, I just want to. I just want to say quickly, I did did enjoy your vlog yesterday at the Shell Factory in Fort Myers. It, it, it seems oh, yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, I especially liked it when you opened the outhouse with Pappy inside. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, the outhouse with Pappy, Dave. You probably don't know what, what he's talking, talking about. about? No. Wait, well, Do the carpetbagger went out to a location, and in a lot of places in the South, they have this uh, character. It's like an old prospector man, and they call him Pappy, and they put him in different locations. And in this one, you open the outhouse, and uh, there's Pappy sitting there. But, Jacob, they'll put Pappy in all kinds of crazy locations, won't they? It's kind of like that fur-bearing trout they've got in the South and all those different places, uh, yeah. locations. Yeah, the, fur the fur-bearing trout is is is... Any sort of auditorium or Ripley's or Jacob like that will definitely have a fur-bearing trout. Jacob, could you please explain to Dave Michaels, our pilot here, what a fur-bearing trout is? The look on his face was one of pure bewilderment. <laughs> and it's because out here in California, we've never heard of such a thing. I had never heard of it. And I'm watching the videos going, what in the F is a fur-bearing trout? And what is that? It's a, a fish, and they just uh, hot glued uh, like hair on it. Dave, <laughs> why would you do that? Uh, yeah. For the kids. Yeah. It's for fun. <laughs> the legend, the legend is that um, you know the the, the fur-bearing trout from the, the Great Lakes, and the water's so cold to keep the fish from freezing, mm. it, it, it developed a, a thick coat of fur. Right. It just grew a furry coat. It's called uh, evolution uh, in action. It's called it's called what taxidermists do when they get bored. <laughs> Yes, and I wanted to get back to the taxidermy issue, uh, Jacob, there. We do have some more callers on the line. We're going to take your guys' calls in one second. But, yeah, taxidermy, a lot of locations out there in the south and these uh, places have a lot of taxidermy. And earlier we were talking about the uh, father, the grandfather, I guess you'd say, of taxidermy, Carl Akeley. And I wanted to have yeah. you, Jacob, just real quickly uh, tell us about what that, that, that legendary man did to a uh, poor, sweet, Ill innocent animal. Well, um, yeah, he was the, he was the father of modern taxidermy. Created the style of taxidermy used today, um, and then he also killed the, many of the animals that you will still see on display at uh, natural history museums across the country. Uh, but there actually is, and I think uh, I'm trying to remember where it's at. It's at the uh, the Field Museum in um, Chicago. They have the the hide of a leopard that he killed with his bare hands. He was hunting for hogs. Uh, he went in a bush. The leopard jumped out and attacked him, and he took his fist and he shoved it down the leopard's throat until the leopard choked to death on his fist. Yowza. What do you think about that one, Dave? So he would take a live animal, kill it, and then stuff it to look alive. Yes. He All killed right. it with his bare All arm. All right. Uh, you're listening Human to Flight 1080 KSEO Santa Cruz. We got a break for local news, right. traffic, and weather. Then we'll be back with your phone calls, text messages, and emails, and all that other stuff. We're hanging out with the carpetbagger, Billy Flight Army, and you. We're going to break for news. Keep it tuned in. KSEO Santa Cruz. Since, uh, good grief, since we both had hair. And uh, i got to tell you, I really enjoy everything you do. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> It's just such a blessing to get to go to all these places that I don't have to go. And as far as, hey, you know, I'd rather you spend the money than me. You know what I mean? So, um. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Thank you for your call, Mike. 479 Was he making fun of our dancing chickens there, Jacob? I mean. I, was he? As maybe, he was, yeah. yeah, he said, you know, in Alabama, oh, we don't have yeah, dancing chickens. We eat, like, <laughs> we're weird in California. <laughs> We have dancing People chickens because everyone in California, California is talented. Even our chickens are talented. We say, dance, chicken, dance. It'll do it. It'll do a two-step. <laughs> Give me it in, in a snappy C, and I'll sing you a song, baby, huh? <laughs> who else we got on the line, Dave? <laughs> Let's see who's in. You're in uh, the air. James in Texas, you're in the air. Hey, what's up, everyone? Hey, Jacob. Hi, James. Hey, James. Hey, uh, yeah, uh, I've been watching your video since about November, December. Um, I first found your videos because I used to live in San Antonio, Texas, and I haven't been able to be back there since 2007. And I always loved the Wax Museum there and the Ripley's, believe it or not. And I found your videos because I was looking for new videos on the Wax Museums, and all, yours was the only clearest, like, HD ones I could find, and I started watching the others. Um, one thing I've always wanted... Uh, one thing I, I want to ask you, like, um, uh, out of the uh, out of the uh, wax museums, like, which ones do you think have the better uh, uh, quality of figures? Yeah, that's a great question. Or well, also, in, in addition to that, what is one of like the worst wax figures you've ever seen? There, it's like they had to write what who it was. It was so awful. <laughs> well, the best is, is Madame Tussaud. They they do the best best making it look like an actual person. The worst wax figure, in my opinion is the Jay Leno 
in Niagara it. Falls at Louis Louis Tussauds Wax Museum. The Jay Leno at the Louis Tussauds Wax Museum. And where again, Jacob? N Niagara Falls. Niagara yeah. Falls. Hopefully, Dave will post a picture of that on our Flight 1080 website. But tell us how bad it was. Did it even look remotely like Jay Leno, or did it just look like a triangle? I, I mean, you could, I mean, you kind of. a chin joke. They're, they're, go, they're going for Jay Leno, but yeah, the chin is weird. His hair is weird, and, and <laughs> it's yeah, it's just it, not it's to be seen to be good. believed. Have you seen people doing inappropriate things with some of these wax figures, like at Madame Tussauds? Or oh. I've, I've seen people doing inappropriate Selfies. things with uh, wax figures. So who's that? That um, the one girl that does Anaconda? Oh, the big. Yeah. Uh, she's got all the lumps everywhere. She's got all the. Well, who is that? Nicki Minaj, I think. Nicki, Nicki, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. They had, to, they had to block off the area behind her in um, the Las Vegas Tussauds because people were. Um, taking pictures as if they were having intercourse with her. Ah, that was not, that's not appropriate oh, behavior. Gross. <laughs> that's gross. I thought he was going to give her a massage. I, 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 I misinterpreted that picture. Uh, let's see who's up next. It is Chris calling from Martinez. You're in the air. Hello. Hey, Chris. Um, here's my question. Uh, Jacob, what's your favorite Ripley's out of all of them that you've ever gone to? My favorite Ripley. I've been uh, I've been trying to kind of hold back on making a final decision until I see the three remaining. Um, some really good ones are Atlantic City, New Jersey, uh, Times Square has a great one, and San Antonio has a really good one as well. All right, thanks for the uh, call there. Thank you for the call, Chris. Four seven nine ten eighty. I'm looking Let's for this. Uh, some of these, uh, I'm looking for the Jay the Leno lines. wax museum, and I don't even see anything that looks. Oh, uh, we're gonna find it during the break. We're definitely gonna find a picture of Is that, that no it? doubt. <laughs> That's probably not it. All right. Who do we got up next? Uh, let's see who it is. It is Jeff calling from Fort Worth. You're in the air. Jeff. <laughs> You're on with the carpet bagger. Hello, bagger. guys. Uh, Jacob might uh, remember who I am. <laughs> I am actually the gentleman that actually makes the intros for <laughs> for his network. Oh, Jeff. And, um, All right. We played your theme song at the top of the uh, – when we brought you on there. Yeah, Jeff does the, uh, the animated intros at the beginning of every video you see. Yeah, Jacob has a really cool little animated uh, video intro there that this fellow is calling in. Now, do you, is this the only YouTuber you've done this for, or do you do this for uh, other YouTubers also? Well, there's one other that I do it for. Um, this, that channel is Father Autism. And, um, but it was, it's, I just wanted to call and just mainly, mainly say thank you to Jacob for giving me the opportunity to do this. It's been a whole lot of fun, and the, his fans are very generous and and. Uh, and polite about my about about my contributions there, and um, but I wanted to also say because I know Jacob's too polite to say this, and um, I wanted to say, hey guys, if you love this channel, um, you guys need to get on Patreon and help him out there. <laughs> um, I, the, a lot of my contributions are tied into that. But that's basically where I first started contributing to his channel. Now, for our KSU and, uh, this, audience that doesn't really know what our caller is referring to, a Patreon is uh, very popular with a lot of the YouTubers, and what it allows them to do is because a lot of uh, videos are having a hard time being monetized, in other words, commercial being uh, played upon them, is they'll have a, a website called Patreon, and what you can do there is become a Patreon um, a subscriber, and you can donate, you know, people set it up differently, but, you know, $2 a month, a uh, subscription, or a dollar, or more or less, depending on how the person sets it up. Uh, what is, how is your setup, Jacob? Uh, mine is set up where um, I actually will send out a uh, monthly postcard to people, um, you know, the to different tiers of subscribers. And actually, this month I'm sending out a coaster, personalized uh, circus banner coaster postcard that Jeff actually had made for me. So, that's all right, that is awesome. Particular month. Four seven nine one zero eight zero DM at KSCO.com. Let's see who is up next. It looks like you're it on the is flight. Dave calling from North Carolina. Dave, you're on with Jacob the Carpetbagger. Hey, Jacob, it's a uh, British tea drinker. Um, just want to say we love your videos, especially your live streams. And um, have you any future plans on going to the UK? I, <laughs> I get this question a lot. Um, I do want to go to the UK, and I do. I, I may be making that a goal for next year. Um, but 
for whatever reason, uh, I, I have a lot of uh, viewers, a lot of uh, subscribers from the UK. Something, something about my videos is, is, is apparently appealing to to my friends in the United Kingdom. You need to get over there. You'll enjoy it. Apart from the weather. Sure I will. <laughs> Thank you for the call, Dave. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Um, any any suggestions locally for for Jacob? I would like to well, hear I would any suggestions. Uh, you know, I mean the boardwalk, saying, right? right? The, the well, mystery the spot. the boardwalk, the boardwalk. Of course, Jacob may not know this, but that was where the uh, film uh, the Lost, Lost Boys, Boys did a lot yes. of filming there. Mm -hmm. So that's a good location. Not not seen that. Yeah, it's this cool. Is a, this is a this is a recurring theme, and, and I have an issue um, often. Is I haven't seen a lot of movies, and and people people are constantly. Um, I'm surprised by the, the amount of movies I've not seen. Okay. Well, <laughs> have you seen problem. the Terminator? I've seen Terminator. Right. Okay. Well, then uh, we got that one. That's let, good. Let, let's see who's up let's next. It is uh, Frank calling from Georgetown, Frank, Texas. What's going on? Near. Hey, Jacob. How's it going, man? Doing good. Uh, How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I like your stuff. You and uh, Jordan and Adam the Woo, you guys are the three amigos of the Internet. Uh, oh, thank you. Now, the yeah, call is referring to uh, two other YouTubers that do, uh, I wouldn't say similar con content, but a similar style, and that would be uh, Jordan the Lion, who's located out of uh, Southern California, and he'll do a lot of locations, uh, Hollywood locations, homes of stars, where they have shot this, that, and the other thing, who lived where, who married who, where, the history of all. It's very fascinating. He has uh, good quality uh, videos also there. Hmm. Dave, what's on your mind? Would you like to ask the carpetbagger a question? I was looking at dirty pictures on the internet. I'm sorry. No, about that. no. Uh, thank you for the call, no. Frank. Four seven nine one zero eight zero. Let's see who's dirty. up next. He meant uh, ter Becca. terra firma. Terra Becca firma is calling photographs. from Oregon. You're in the air. Hey, Becca. Hey. Um. So I've been a fan for a while, and I'm just. I have one question for you, and it. Um. Have you heard about Carlsbad Caverns in White City, New Mexico? Ooh, I want to go. I have there. not. I've never been there. Dave's excited about that one. I'll add that to my list. Would you ever consider going there, or? Oh, absolutely. What is Carlsbad? Uh, yeah. what, what, do you, what are we going to find there, Becca? What, what, what do you yeah, want him to go visit? What, what is located there? I've never uh, even heard of it. Um, it's just a really deep cavern, and there's a bunch of like tunnels and stuff for this cave. Oops. And also, the they have like a restaurant uh, in it. They do, and it's wow. deep underground. Yeah, and also they have. I don't think you can film this. They might, like, make an exception for you, but they have this bat. Like, it's, like, 5,000 bats that come out all at one time. Wow. At, like, 5 a.m. That's amazing. And then, so it's just, like, a cloud of black coming out. And then you can also watch them go back in. So, That's crazy. Really, Very cool. Really That'd be amazing. a great video yeah. if you get that one, Jacob. Man, thank fantastic. you for your call, Becca. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Let's head out to uh, let's head out to Happy Valley. Joe, you're in the air. Hey, how's it going? Great show as usual. Hey, have you ever been to the Coral Castle in Florida? Uh, the Coral Castle. That's a great place. Great question. I've checked that one out before, yeah. Jacob. Yeah. What about that one? I'd actually. Thanks a so lot. Uh, what did you it. think of it? I'd really like to hear. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I actually was there um, a week or two ago. Uh, stopped wow. by when I was on my trip through Florida. Uh, Coral Castle is pretty cool. Just uh, the story behind it. Uh, in case you don't know, it's, there was a very a very small man. Um, he's about five feet tall, weighs like 120 pounds, something like that. Um, apparently lost his mind after his girlfriend left him at the altar, and he made a castle in Homestead, Florida, out of coral. And coral being like just the solid uh, stone made out of you know made out of uh, sea creatures in the ground. So there's like 5,000 pound pieces of coral that he managed to construct a castle out of, and no one knows exactly how. Right, and what's also amazing about uh, Coral Castle is apparently, uh, from what I've seen, is that there are, uh, the doorways uh, are these large pieces of coral that are huge. I mean, 10 feet uh, by whatever, 6 feet, and they, they move, yeah. they rotate. I mean, they're just, they've been, uh, uh, I guess, placed and balanced in a way that they can uh, open in uh, 360 degrees, you know. Yeah. On, on a, it's amazing. It's like a, yeah. Just amazing. No one knows how he built this home. It's incredible. Yeah, exactly. 
Didn't he do it at night too to keep uh, from being seen by the visit by the neighbors? I believe that's correct. Yeah, supposedly no one. I think no one ever witnessed him actually doing any work. You know, we have a house like that here in Santa Cruz as well. It was built. I, I forget what street it's on. If you do a, a search, you, you'll find it though. And a guy did the same thing. He built it at night in order to avoid being uh, seen by the uh, building inspectors. And at the front gate, he installed a um, some sort of device, some sort of electric thing on the front of his uh, gate to the, the entrance to his yard, and that was supposed to scramble messages being sent to German submarines during World yes, War II. Yes, you're talking about the oh, home wow. with the obelisks in the yes, front what, of Yes, what the, is uh, that place called? Do you remember what that's called? Oh, it's on the tip of my it's tongue really, right now. Really if anybody weird. out there, anybody callers really know, I'll call in real quick. It's on the tip of my tongue. I just can't remember it. It's there in Santa Cruz County, <laughs> and it's a relatively <laughs> small home, and it was uh, built, as Dave is saying, but there are also two large obelisks, and uh, there's uh, quite a bit of imagery in the masonry work. It's all made out of uh, bricks. And uh, it looks like it has some Masonic uh, symbols yeah, to it, but so. people claim that he was not it's a Mason. Really weird. It's a very fascinating uh, little location. All right, let's see who's up next. We are hanging out with uh, the carpetbagger. We're heading out to Monterey. John, you're in the air. John, hey. What's going hey, on? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, long-time listener, a first-time caller. I got in my car and heard the carpetbagger, and I've been listening to or watching him on YouTube for a couple of years now. And awesome. So my, my mind is kind of blown right now. Well, that's fantastic. What do you have to say? Uh, go, shoot. We got the carpetbagger right here. Speak away. Well, man, I, I just wanted to, first of all, I just wanted to say, Jacob, man, you're awesome. Thank you so much for taking us with you and you. letting us check out all this cool stuff alongside with you, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I got uh, work and two kids, so I don't get to get to go out and, you know, scratch that wanderlust itch uh, like I, I once used to. And so getting to uh, tag along with you and Adam and Justin and all those guys, uh, that, that's how I found you, actually. It was the uh, first time he went to Gatlinburg after he left L.A. He met up with you, and I was like, oh, man, th th this dude seems uh, pretty legit. So, uh, Yeah, John, you're speaking of uh, a couple other YouTubers that we uh, spoke about. It's sort of uh, in the circle of Jacob's uh, YouTube uh, world, I guess you'd say it is, not as Adam the Woo. And uh, I'm forgetting, I just said his name two seconds ago. Jordan the something? Jordan the Lion, right, correct. Yeah, out of the three of them, it's interesting. They all do a similar uh, sort of videos there, don't you think, John? But um, what is your take? Who is your favorite out of the three of them? And you got to say Jacob. Oh, man, I, I, it, that, that, that's, that's like Sophie's Choice, man. I, I can't, I can't. They all, they all do things a little bit differently. Right. Like, for example, uh, just recently, Adam and Jacob did a Route 66 road trip. And every night I would watch Adam, and then I would go and watch Jacob. And even though they were in the same places, seeing the same things, they had different takes mm -hmm. on everything. Absolutely. And so it's it, it's just really neat to see these things through, you know, different lenses, so to speak, in mm -hmm. in the literal sense sometimes. Uh, but real quick before I go, I just wanted to ask Jacob uh, well, two things. One, hey man, if ever you get out to Monterey. Uh, let We're going to get him out here. Uh, We're going to find a way to get Jacob out here uh, somehow. <laughs> it's going to happen. Well, let me know, man, because I, I, I've lived here my whole life, and I can show you some, some pretty cool – I can show you the whalebone sidewalk in Monterey. I, I'm not even aware of that. Sidewalk are, are, are in Monterey you made out of whale the whale bone sidewalk. No, I've Monterey. never heard of that. We got to check that there out. There we go. See another thing. Yeah, That's right awesome. At, right in, right in front of the old whale, uh, the whale station down Is there in right? Harry Charber. All right. Awesome. Uh, cool. Yeah, but the other thing I had to say was, Jacob, have you ever seen an old TV show called Wonder Falls? Yes, I have, and I knew they have the uh, they had the Moldoramas. Uh, on one of that, I was gonna say you you know why I'm asking you about that show. <laughs> the what? The Moldorama? Now we're gonna we're gonna pause on that for just a second. Uh, we're coming up on the, Thank uh, you for the hard call, John. break here. Why don't we uh, pause, take a break, Dave? Uh, take some more calls. But uh, also, uh, yeah, we should get into it. The Moldorama, uh, Jacob the Carpetbagger. What is that? Okay, now again, see, we're here in Northern uh, California, so we're not experienced. We don't have, uh, we haven't seen these. But a moldorama is you go to a location, Dave, and it's a big machine, you see. And uh, let's say uh, you went to, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, the carnival or something, and they got elephants, and there'd be a big machine, and it would make you a little plastic elephant. And it's for the kids. You say, oh, here's $2. You put it in the thing, and it'll make you the toy right on the spot. It diffuses it out of plastic. It makes this industrial uh, toy thing, and it pushes it out, and it's awesome. Right, Carpetbagger? 
Absolutely. They're the best. All right. I'm going to. I can't wait for that. We're, we're going to have to wait at least five minutes, though, because we've got to okay. take a quick break. We'll be all back right, on the other side. All You're right. listening to Flight 1080 KSEO Santa Cruz. Minutes. Billy Army hanging out with Dave Michaels and you, as and well the as the carpet carpetbagger. Bagger. DM at KSEO.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You're listening to Flight 1080.